Hey YouTube and thank you for watching Junkworks DIY Garage. Well, we're back in my mom's apartment here and uh, we have this LG. It is a ventless washer and dryer. Um, now, I've yet again seen lots of different things on these, but so far we actually have one of these in our house and we're loving it. The biggest thing we love the most about it is you throw your clothes in there and when they're when they come out they're dry and they're done uh used to be we'd throw our clothes in and wash them then forget about them or they got left for too long and then you got to wash them again and over and over so really this is well the one in our house that's like this only much bigger um has really saved us both on i think energy but also time and also the fact that we're not re-washing things over and over again so uh, that kind of bundles into both there. So this one is going to be going uh, underneath the countertop here, right in this corner. Uh, so it should work really well because you don't have to vent it. All you have to do is have a drain and water. Uh, it takes care of the rest itself. Although I will say the one downside to these is I'm finding about once a week with ours we're draining the little thing and you gotta sit down on the floor and do it. Now they do make stands to put these on top of. We don't want to have one downstairs and we can't have one here because it needs to be under the countertop. So it is kind of a little bit of a pain once in a while. Uh, with my mom being the only one using this one, it'll probably last a little longer I'm hoping before we have to drain it. Uh, but we'll see. Either way, that little bit of inconvenience once a week is not a big deal and it only takes a, a you know less than a minute to do so we are going to go ahead and put this thing we in. we are going to start this in the back here now right here 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 and here there are bolts and they actually give you a little tool with it which is kind of nice of them this should have the tool to undo these these are for shipping process so that the drum doesn't roll all around from what i gather So I'm going to take all four of these out. They're obviously going to take a minute or two. There we go. I can do that. And uh, when I'm done with that, I'll be back. We got these out. They have a pretty long bolt along with this plastic do doohickey. And uh, I did. You, it's easier if you twist them a little bit to pop them out. They were a little difficult to get a couple of them out. Uh, put those away if you ever plan on moving this ever again. Even, I guess, just a little bit. Uh, a lot of people say that you don't want to move these hardly at all once you take these out. So keep that in mind and keep those around if you're ever going to move again and want to take this with you. The other thing, some of the things that are in here with the tool are these covers right here. <clears throat> it says they're optional. I would use them especially if you have any kind of mouse problems, which luckily we don't have right now anyways around here. But it just gives them one less hole to climb around in and out of. So, and then it comes <clears throat> with this uh, wire tie and it appears to be some sandpaper. I don't know exactly what these are for yet, but we'll go through the directions and figure it out. It also has the hoses, the tool yet again, which we'll use this. I believe this will probably make it so we can... Uh, adjust the legs as well when we go to level it i'm not positive on that but i'm pretty sure that's got that too and this right here goes on the end of your hose so that when you put it down in your drain it stays there so uh, that's kind of a nice little extra that they didn't used to give you and then also you got your plug on the back which is way up high unfortunately for me anyways and uh not super long so i'm hoping i can actually reach the plug that i planned on plugging this into we shall see well as you can see we kind of skip forward a little bit but and we uh, are we in that in there in the drain hose is hooked up so you know hot to hot cold to cold and then back in here i don't know if you can see that i actually put some of these 90 degree elbows it did not come with those but that made it so I can get closer to this counter top here. So, cause at some point this, you know, I didn't want this sticking out much further than it already is into here. So, uh, 
that made it so I could do that. So if you got a little closer, it does work that way. And the reason I can say it works that way is because my mom is using it now. And uh, so far, so good. She's, in, she's liking it. She got caught up on all her uh, laundry here, which was backed up because she didn't have anything. So then we got this right here. And this is the only tool you really need other than your hands. Um, that we took it and leveled it out in the spot it's sitting in right now and that's where it's going to have to stay because because there's going to be a countertop over the top of this I need to be able to reach in here and get to the shutoffs and things like that if I have any problems and then this will pull out these are very heavy though I will warn you about that even this little one is pretty darn hard to move with just one person um, so just be aware of that. These are extremely heavy, even more heavy than a normal one. So I think for all intents and purposes, yet again, you got your water up here. This hose right here is uh, stuck to this. It's got like a security bit, so you can't take it off of there. So that's where they want that running. That's just running across over and down into there. Uh, water, water, and plug in, which for now anyways is down there now in my area you have to have the GFCI stuff and they each have to be on their own circuit so you have to learn figure out what you need for your area uh, if you look at what these actually are rated for as far as power uh, not a whole lot different than your plug-in on your refrigerator or the amperage of your refrigerator but yet again you need to do your own research on Thanks all for watching that. Junkworks DIY Garage, where I'm proud to say I'm a jack of all and master none. You all have a good one.